Hello all you half pints out there and welcome, my name is Kim Nyo Majanta, you're joining me for the start of a new series of Overfall. This is a game I've been pretty darn excited about, and uh, so we're going to go ahead and get right in it. Do I have any other uh, classes I can choose right now? Or is there only, you know, I mean, yeah, he can, Vla Vlad Oliver, it can be Oliver and uh, Kaylee, Oh. Those are nice names. I like those names. I like them. All right, so there you go. It kind of tells us what uh, you know class. I don't know if I can choose. Okay, I have to unlock the rest. Okay, and they give us hints too. Taverns whisper of a dark lady recruits the sneaky and the cocky to carry out terrible deeds of the forsaken. Cool, cool. But right now we're starting with these guys. That's that's fine. That's totally fine. Oh, wait, what what I do? What I do? I didn't mean to do that. Oh, now I gotta Bogart. Bogart's cool. And. uh... Michaela, Michaela, Bogart and Michaela. Let's do it. Let's go. Uh, I'm gonna say don't enable that because I'm recording. <laughs> but this is Overfall is early access available on Steam. It was like ten dollars. I've seen uh, some of the playthroughs of it already, and it seems super, super awesome. I've been excited for it to be released. I almost skipped uh, some of my classes today to, to do it. So it's uh, basically about you know your. Oh well, you can read about it. You've made it through the portal and back into your homeworld. I can't believe my eyes, you're them. I should be an old man for this. Three centuries have passed since you entered that portal, and now you're back. Three centuries have passed, how? God knows. For generations, my family waited for your arrival. I did this spot, and I'm the lucky one to fulfill our family prophecy now. Yep, yep. These special dialogues in yellow and can uh, drastically alter the outcome of an encounter. I think it basically means the yellow ones tend to be better, and they're based upon skills. So, I think there's been an anomaly in time when we enter the portal. You have the wisdom to understand the difference, but not many could foresee that this would happen, except for one wizard. Why have you been waiting for us? My mighty wizard Ezeel gave this quest to my great-grandfather for the day you will return. The world isn't the same since you left. The Ever King has gone missing. The Almighty Ever King has gone missing. The Citadel has vanquished long, vanished long ago. No one knows why and how. But Azir left my family a message to hide and deliver to you for when this day comes. A message? Two beacons will be unsealed, only to those who are revered. Their light will unveil the path to your king, only when the races of dyes deem you worthy. Then we should introduce ourselves to the leader of the dyes first, if we are to find these beacons. If that's true, then you should make your way up in their society first. Times have changed. The world is in chaos. Do you have anything else? Do you have anything else? Yep. Hey, gave us two frag, which is like the currency. Take, take this! That's the least. It's dangerous. Take this. That's the least I can do, apart from giving you our our family ship to you. Uh, thanks for everything you've done. We better be on our way. Alrighty. So those are my characters, the two people right there, and that was an old man. And um, how this works is when they move, you move, kind of deal. There's fighting. People just died. There's some crates over here. The crates are like, uh, elf ship. Okay, so they'll be fine. They're not gonna bother me. I didn't actually mean to to run into them, but. Um, we'll sell on. We don't need to. We don't need. To, I just wanted to grab the the goodies, so we can go to uh, different islands and do stuff with this. That contains an inn there. Contains a bazaar, which would be good for buying and selling stuff. Let's go to this one. Let's see what there is to do. You're resting in a warm inn. Buy something to eat. Um, talk with the man. Let's talk with the man standing over there. So you're up for some games that may cheer you up, maybe even earn you some profit? Uh, I think this is gambling, let's do it. The game picks three cups and coin and explains. Uh, left one, right one, it's a middle one. Um, middle. I lost. I have a feeling that I will lose many of these. I feel like I will lose very many of those if I keep playing. <laughs> Alright, let's sail on. What was I supposed to do? I have to earn my way up in society, but... Searching for resources to use. Does it matter where do I start? Is there a place to start? Is that a quest up there? I don't believe so. Let's check out this place. Food for frags. See about upgrading the equipment or trade commodities. What kind of commodities can we trade? I can sell some dust, which is kind of like drugs. And they'll give me frags for them. 
Probably sell a few a few anyway. So I have 11 frags now. What about uh, equipment? What can you do for my equipment? Uh, and try your luck to reveal an offer for enhancements and stuff. I'm not sure if I'm ready to do that yet. I don't think I'm ready to do that. Alright, so let's let's go back to uh, setting cell. Uh, where was I supposed to go? Don't bother with me. I won't bother with you. The dwarf ship over there. Oh, I don't like the Vorn ship. The Vorn ships chase us and they attack us. I don't like it. I'm not a big fan. Let's go this way. I don't remember now. I want to be able to offer runes for protection and leave the altar. Okay, so that guy right there. Uh, altars allow you to re, uh, re, um, revive your guys if they die. So Right now I'm just kind of looking for a quest to do. So you go. We haven't a chance of surviving the plague season if we don't get him back somehow. So the inhabitants of this island tell you the healer was abducted by orcs. All right, well we gotta we gotta save the healer then. All right, combat. Hmm. The mood is hostile. The orcs catch sign of you in their hands, edge toward the weapon. Your people are not welcome here. Defend ourselves, or you are you are an orc. You're the kidnapped human. Let's try that. I was not kidnapped. I joined the orcs to learn of their spiritual ways. I'm here doing no harm. You have neglected your own people, sir. That is harm. Perhaps you're right. I must go back to them. Glad to hear. Alrighty, cool. So I ended up helping without having to fight anybody. Oh, oh wait, the orcs are less pleased to hear the loss of their witch doctor. So we're gonna have to fight them anyway. But they're minus one guy, which uh, which works out for me, okay. So he's running in towards my healer. Not my not a not a big fan of that. And go ahead and take a stompy stomp right over there. Um see I wanna remove this uh, removes one buff, vulnerability. Uh, we're gonna do that one. Go away. There you go. So we debuff him, and then we get to chop, cleave, or execute. Let's see, what does cleave do? So bleeding, it does better when, when they're bleeding, but I don't have anybody that's bleeding right now. So there you go. Now he's bleeding. Perfect. So this guy's gonna run in now. Get on my uh, my warrior. That's okay. I'd rather than be on the warrior. What can you do? You can move, but I don't think I want to move you too much. Just maybe a little bit closer. We'll have you do a, uh, that's not really going to help him, I don't think, but 2 debuff is a cast on an ally. Oh, we'll remove the debuff, even though there's only one debuff to move. And then she can use the hammer of wrath, the kind of deal. Smack that guy in the head. There you go. He's confusion. Skip the attacking phrase. Awesome, awesome. So you don't have to move. You're pretty good right now. Let's do, uh, applies on our ability. Let's do that. And then let's, uh, I think he's still bleeding, so let's hit him with the one that does extra damage for bleeds. There you go, he has mortal runes now. Alright, so he can't heal. This guy's coming to attack me, he has protection, half the incoming uh, damage stacked by round. We'll move this girl a little bit closer now. And, um, I guess I could have gone even closer and given him a heal. I don't think this is actually going to help anybody. So I don't have to do anything for the utility phase. And this is not going to, there you go, this will do it. I get some sparkly lights. Kill one guy and uh, start damaging the other guy. Double speed damage taken and cannot be dispelled. Oh, he's enraged. Alright, well you don't have to move anywhere. And let's give you uh let's give you this, even though you don't really have any debuffs, it does give you a, a vigor, so the same thing that he's got. And then we can use chop. There you go. Getting started here. Oh, he's gonna go in on my mage. Don't blame him, I would too. Ouch. Ouch. Reduces the effect of uh, mortal wounds. I didn't actually mean to move her that like that, but um, that's okay. My bad, my bad. Why don't you use a retribution? You don't have to heal yourself. Your healing is decreased anyway. That's uh, We can have you jump a little closer, maybe, in between them. We'll give you uh, this. There you go. Add some more uh, vulnerability, and then he's a little bit below. Is this half health? Deals damage. Uh, deals plus two damage if targets below 50%. Guys, definitely below 50%. So let's do that. 12 damage. I like how the little skulls float up afterwards. So we got three dust, three food, and Bogart gained rid uh, rigorous increased accuracy stat by five. Awesome. You get a chance to kind of get buffs or also debuffs when you kind of do that stuff. So you've unlocked a companion for your next playthrough. Getting a reputation. Will accumulate fame, which increases your maximum party size. Recruiting a companion costs one rune. 
Okay, so we're not really uh, quite to the point where we're going to be doing that, but... We're not going to be recruiting any additional pa uh, companions for a little while, but plague season is just the usual sniffles. These people don't need me at all. <laughs> Good luck. So let's see, how, how are we doing? Didn't get any uh, uh, particular bonuses that I could tell from that. Let's go up to... What's this one? Human dwarf. This is a barren land. A, a human... Okay. Me cold. Cold night mean cold caveman. You help, yes? Help make fire? I have survival skills, so I can help him. Perfect. Me give you a little food. So we get a little bit of food. Um, teach the caveman to make fire. So it takes him to be managed to educate the caveman in the art of fire. He's ecstatic. So we got even more food for that. I don't know if that actually takes up time. As time goes by, they get like a... The invaders start to pour from... Yeah. The, the, the invaders get stronger as time goes on. It's not a good thing. Let's grab this thing right here. And let's go ahead and... Uh, come over here. I think we want to work with... Uh, uh, no more mining explosives for goblins. Any dust for goblins to craft explosive spells? One is a good amount. Use your good weapon and rocks to make a sparkle. Now we'll give them one. We'll give them one dust. So they give it. I give them a dust. They give us food, and we also get increased reputation with the goblins, which is cool because we need to have reputation with all of them actually increased. So that that works out pretty okay. Um, I think ultimately I actually kind of want to have wi a witch or no uh, elves being my first of friends. But well, explore lands. You, you discover an ancient temple. It's only inhabited a strange cloaked man. For unto a millennium, I have waited for you, traveler. How is that possible? The man smiles and continues. When you live as long as I have, you learn to see the threads of fate. I know you by your destiny, not your appearance. And then what are you waiting for? I am the warlock, Oathbreaker. I committed a crime that silenced the very gods themselves. I ask you for one thing, which is... Forgiveness. It is not my place or anyone's to forgive you. It is your duty to be a good person. So I didn't... Uh, hey... I think I unlocked another companion. The werewolf's eyes, the were, the werewolf, ah, the warlock's, warlock's eyes gleam, not the werewolf. Uh, to go out into the world and make a difference? Yes, I can do that, but in what way? That is also up to you. Farewell. So now I've unlocked them for future, uh, future days. I'm an injured character to restore health. Use a food button. Yep. So we will. We'll give him, we'll give him some food since we have plenty of food. Human and forsaken. Let's go to that one. We'll make our way back that way across the map. I'm not very familiar with the, map, with the map, though, at this point. As you explore, you hear scratchy sounds of women who is cornered by the pirates. Aye! Um, let's see. Do I, do I start to fight, or do I try to talk first? Well, let's try to talk first. Er, excuse me, this is just wrong. Oh, my dear sir, you are right. We shall not we shall continue not with this madness and get back to our tea party. <laughs> Okay, thanks. I'll have two sugars. <laughs> Are you making fun of us? See if you can keep up with our sword. So you have to fight him anyway. That's okay. I can land in, in a pretty decent... Right over there. So we'll do that. We'll do... All right, we don't want earth crack. We actually want to incapacitate. I'm going to move... Uh, wait, first I have to chop. Get that done. Wonderful. So it was his turn to move. Um... He uses fear, which is a which is a shame because it makes me run around basically uh, five steps in random directions on my turn. So that kind of hurt. Is she um, we'll move her up a little bit, but we don't want to get we don't want her getting too close right now that she's in a, you know in harm's way. Do we have? Can we hit anybody with the hammer? We can. Not quite who I would have wanted to hit with the hammer, but we'll do what we can. Alright, so he's still above half health, unfortunately. He's going to skip his walk turn. Let's uh, hit this. Oh, I probably should actually... Probably should have take, got, gotten rid of his uh, debuffs instead. But that's okay. It'll be alright, I think. That's that's whew, that's some buffs right there. So my guy's taking quite a bit of damage. Quite a lot of damage. Uh, it's going to be an issue, I think, soon. Oh man, it's gonna be an issue. It's gonna be a big issue now. Can I pull him back? I can't pull him back. So we're gonna have to line up with him right about there. Dispel. Try to get some of that bad stuff off of him. Ah, oh, shoot, I need to get one closer so I could have healed him. Oh man, my bad, my bad. He's not gonna live. 
He's just not going to make it. There's no way. No matter what I do, I'm pretty sure he's dead right here. Yep. Ah, so that's not good. I think we I think we just lost. Guys, I think we just lost. There's just too many of them. So, it doesn't matter really how much they miss or whatever. I'm going to I'm going to end up, ultimately end up dead anyway, so See, we can use fear for now, so that's what I got. That'll make him run away next turn. We'll use this to do whatever damage we can. Oh, that was a pretty big crit, actually. That was nice. Ugh. Not a big fan of damages. Crippled. Decreased speed by one. So he ran away from the fear, and now he's running back. But look at all the... Look at all the stuff he's got. Look at all the stuff. Oh, we'll walk over here closer to him. We'll use ourselves... Uh, I guess a dispel. Give me a shot at killing him. I don't think I'm gonna win. I mean, I'm definitely not gonna win this one, to be honest with you. There's not enough healing power or anything in the in the whole game to keep me alive right here, but... That went bad really quickly, guys. That went really bad really quick. We just... We fought somebody we couldn't have fought then. I suppose maybe we should have walked away, but... It's not like me to walk away from a woman in need. Yikes. Yeah, I'm gonna die on my turn. With the bleed. Ugh. Ugh. Not a very good, uh, not a very good score right there. We'll restart. Same people. That's fine with me. Damage during time conditions include bleeding, burning, poison, trauma, and other stuff. Alright. Ugh. That was ugly. That was an ugly start. Alright, so we all, we know about this. We've been here before. We know it all. It feels like we only, feels like we only go backwards, travelers. <laughs> I like that. We've been here before, and it shows a picture of like, some guy like holding up his hands. Contains an end. We don't really need to go to that. A goblin ship, which is chasing a dwarf ship. Let's go to the human elf land. So you see like people like killing each other on the seas. I think it's kind of cool, actually. Uh, while forging food, you can kind of a miserable-looking elf merchant. She asks for your help dealing with a camp of orcs nearby. They smell so bad, and they look so terrible. We don't really want to kick them off the island, but soon we'll have to. They look pretty capable. Can you offer any ideas? Let's see, offer to kick, go kick the orcs or find something to make the orcs less ugly. Let's do that. That'd be so lovely, but how are we supposed to do that? Um, do you have any beauty products? Oh, of course. You have to sell them ourselves. All right, so we'll take beauty, well, we're going to take beauty products to the orcs. Um, would you like some beauty products? You know what? I don't mind smelling like an ocean rose, and now I can add a little color to my face paint. We got four frags. Woohoo! That worked out very well. Not only will the island smell better, I have new customers. I'm going to tell my friends about you. Hey, so you got... Oh. She gives you a share of the profits. So we gave her two back out of the four. And we got a plus one elf reputation. That works out for me. That worked out very well, I think. Chasing an orc ship. So not us. What do we got? What do we got over here? Human orc. Human orc. Human orc. I guess we'll go to the human orc. Elf ship. Do you have anything? Do you have anything for us to do? What is this, stranger? Uh, no. They don't seem to be friendly enough yet to offer me jobs. Human elf is down below us, though. I miss you so much. Please don't do this to me. Please don't leave me. This is interesting. Like, so on the island, you come across an orc and an elf having some private time, but soon you realize it is in sweet talk. Man, you know that elf may be a dude in illusion magic, right? <laughs> what do I say? We're gonna keep listening. We can barely see each other, and what happens if we if we tell each other, if we tell others, they'll kill us both. I don't want you to suffer anymore. I don't want us to suffer either. We will talk to the others. You arrive at a camp where the orcs are. He's in love with an elf, and you will let them be happy. They won't be convinced by words of a stranger, it seems. Oh, so that's the matter. We'll deal with them right after we deal with you. Okay, so we have to fight them. They were not so forgiving about love. They think love does come easy. And that it's not a game of give and take, and they just won't wait. So we're gonna we're gonna chop them up into little bits then, because that's the only fair thing to do. So they're focusing on this guy, which is pretty good. Tormented. I move. If I move, I get a I get debuffs and stuff like that. So why don't we go ahead, move her up here, right here. Do I do I heal him or I take rid of the debuffs? I think get rid of the debuffs. There you go. And then I will use a hammer drop on that dude he has increased accuracy for for uh, by one for two turns so you're not gonna move you don't have to move 
But I do want you to move the one buff from this guy so you can focus. So you gotta... There you go. Remove that one. And uh, he's... Oh, is he bleeding? He's not bleeding. So we can't use a bleeding attack. We'll just slice him like normal. Eh, I guess I moved a little too close maybe. Oh no, he's still gonna focus on the other guy. That's okay then. That's okay, that doesn't make me feel bad at all. So why don't you go right about to here. We're gonna give a... Uh, Ye old healing spell over there. And you are going to go ahead and do a Holy Nova. Do a little damage to the work guy and heal our own fellow. I didn't mean to move him at all. I don't know why that happened. But I'm going to do Unbreakable. So I don't get chilled. There you go. Awesome. And I'm going to go ahead and execute. Boom. Three damage. Executed three damage. Wow. Wow. That's, that's no fun. So we're taking some more damage here. What was that? Precision? Gave him a little bit more accuracy and stuff like that. I think we're okay, though. Can you uh, grab him? No, you're not going to be able to grab him. You're going to stick right there, then. We're going to use a uh, Dispel on uh, this guy, since that guy's going to die, probably. And then we'll just do... What is it? Will it hit both of them? It will hit both of them. So let's do that. Our little Dusties. Hit them both. Oh! They seem impressed by our toughness. So, and Nathan gained steady. Increase the accuracy stat by four. You're not as bad. Just go and tell him it's okay. It's his life after all. All right, cool. They actually gave me permission. Thanks, Traveler. Thanks to you. This is the best day of my life. So we got some food, and we got some orc reputation up. That's what this game is. We grind reputation, and we kill bad guys, and we make companion friends. I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode of Overfall. And if you did, please go ahead and leave a like, a comment, subscribe, all that great, awesome, fun stuff. And I'll see you for the next episode. Peace out.